What it do guys, your boy Jackson, welcome back to the Rash. So this time we're gonna be checking out the SCP-093 Res-C object part one of the SCP animation. So there's a part one and a part two, and maybe other couple more parts, but let's go ahead and check this one out. I kind of saw it, it was from Stanford on the Discord. I was like, you know what, let me check out one of these videos on the Discord that they'd be requesting me. So yeah, I don't know, I saw the thumbnail. Look, it's Behind him, a crowd of 37 countable strange figures stood there silently. Features were unidentifiable panic broke out in control again. They requested subject to speed up and return following the cable path. Few seconds later, screams were caught on the audio with Damn. panic from subject. Wow, Five stabbed. shots fired as subject aimed pistol at something massive. Hello everybody, I'm the Rubber. Up, Today, rubber? we bring you an SCP Foundation Euclid class object, SCP-093. SCP-093 is a primarily SCP. red disc carved from a stone composite resembling cinnabar. With circular engravings and unknown symbols carved at 0.5 centimeters depth around the entire object, 093 will change hue when held by a living individual. The colors taken by 093 are still being researched to establish a link. Current belief holds that the changes depend upon regrets carried by the holder. Oh. If 093 is removed from a mirror and not held by a person, it will seek out the nearest mirror-like surface. 093 has been observed to travel in the largest possible circle while rolling, building up phenomenal speed. The mechanism of this acceleration is currently unknown. If an obstacle is between 093 and the nearest mirror-like oh, surface, through. it will use this momentum to punch through the obstacle and continue on its course at this speed. It will only stop when a mirror-like surface is contacted. But why is Despite that? tremendous impact velocities, no damage will be dealt to 093 or the mirror. A test procedure was initiated to establish why mirrors must be used to contain it. The results lead to the discovery of any living beings holding SCP-093 and placing it against a mirror will in fact move oh. into the mirror. A series of testing on human interaction with mirrors while holding 093 have been authorized to ascertain the destination reached through this travel. Records below details the first testing. Mirror Test 1. Color Blue. The test subject's code name D20384, male, 34 years old, stocky, with a record stocky. of murder and attempted oh, suicide. Damn. The subject was cooperative in this instructions for the entire test. He was required to wear a buckle harness strapped to the chest and attached to a tension pulley system for emergency retrieve. Subject was also attached to a video system Show with a what, camera mounted on his head. What is it? He was also loaded with technical equipment that would facilitate his mission of exploration, such as wrist-mounted light source, field kit bag, standard-issue Beretta 9mm firearm loaded with 24 rounds of ammunition and recording equipment. He entered the provided mirror while holding SCP-093, which emitted a blue color. Outside technicians observed that the mirror retained a true reflection until the subject had completely passed into it, at which time the view changed to an outdoor landscape, heavily tinged in blue. The camera activates, flickers to view. The scene was composed of an open field with strong blue tones, similar to the entrance object. As a reference, the blue tones were absorbing most of the lightness in the picture. What? Despite this, subject indicates that the landscape shows no difference to that of a normal yeah, state. Blue. It just looks no like discernible desert, landmarks like... visible as subject pans view left to right. Only grass, weeds, and a breeze moving the taller grass. Oh, okay, so that's no grass, trees, wheat. no living beings were visible. Subject moves forward as instructed, traveling for approximately 500 steps hole. before something becomes visible. A patch of the land up ahead is barren, and grass can be seen dying as the subject approaches it. Approximately 300 steps forward, subject was standing before a hole in the ground. Such a hole shows signs of man architecture, but with unknown tools. It seems that it was not made by forces of nature. Subject was instructed to enter the hole. Hell Despite no! <laughs> protest from the subject, he agreed to use a pulley system, and the camera suffers a light shutter. About 100 meters of cable was used before reaching the bottom. The light source provided in field kit activated. I'm sorry, but if they told, even though I did kill people, I almost attempt a murder on myself. But even though they told me to jump into that hole, I'll be like, how about you come over here and you jump into the hole because this looks like Delhi. 50 like meters I die down, down here. outside sources became unreliable. Sweeping gestures of the light reveal nothing more than dirt 
even at the bottom of the hole. The control station commented about the ongoing blue tinge in the recordings, but subject clarifies that it must be the connectivity problem. Probably. Subject prepared his firearm for personal safety and moved forward with the assistance of the he light gave source. A murder a gun, the tunnel bro. turned from bare dirt to a concrete enclosure. I don't know how I feel about that. Subject complaints of a stench. The light source was revealed to be ceiling light fixtures, a series of which with less than a quarter broken while the others function. A series of six doors, three to a side, span before the camera view with a seventh door visible at the end of the corridor that has been blocked by what looked like generic metal shelving debris. Debris shows signs of rusting and was typical of retail store units suggesting other human presences. Subject requested to try doors, in whatever order he chooses. Subject tried the first door on the right. The door was locked, could not open. The second door could not open either. The third door had the same results as the first. The door in front of the third door does open fully, and the light was bright in the room. The portable light was switched off Ew, at this time the as the subject pans the camera to inspect the room. The room was empty. The only remarkable thing was the dirty walls. Alive, According though. to the subject, the material on the walls looked similar to a melted plastic but was brown in color rather than black. The next door has no handle, does not move when pushed. None of the doors can show internal elements through the spy holes. The door next to the entrance has a keyhole with a key still on it, but the back of the key was missing. With effort, the subject manipulates the key, he managed to open the door and immediately began coughing, complaining of a stench. Maybe it was because of the natural air condensed in such an abandoned place. This stench made the subject feel sick, with control ask if he could continue. The subject agreed and described the really? odor as sulfur. The walls of the last room were as bright as the floor. The ceiling resembles the brown molten plastic-like nah, material that looks like in the it's fourth alive. room. There was what it seemed to be some makeshift cot made from aged blankets with a pillow, a wooden crate containing open boxes of what appeared to have been foodstuffs, and a second crate in the room contains what appears to be empty water bottles that have dried out. It has been proved that the cave has a human origin. One of the boxes with the word cereal confirmed the theory. A book laid next to the cot, closed, no title or identifying marks. Walls were covered by old clipped articles with language that could not be read. Subject was asked to remove clippings for retrieval. All articles but one crumble at the touch wow. due to age. The intact article was put in a field sample container and seems the most recent compared to the others. Audio on the tape went strange and a high-pitched screeching noise like grinding metal dominated all communication for three and a half seconds. When the noise stopped, the subject asked Control to repeat request, but Control made no request during that time as headsets were removed. Subject advised to leave room and stated that the door has begun closing slowly oh, on its shoot. own and if left alone, will close. Subject was advised to leave the room. A careful review of the following 10 seconds of the tape well, showed the that the as the door. camera pans, a figure was visible at the end of the tunnel where the seventh door was. The door was open only enough for a face to be seen through a crack just before the door silently closes. No details can be seen. Seeing nowhere else to explore, subject requested to return. As subject returned back down the tunnel, his camera feed does not change or show anomaly. But control reports a sudden surge in cable movement, pulling an additional 100 meters of cable through before going slack again and then tightening. Finally, video feed showed subject ascending tunnel slowly while control attempted to verify the integrity of the pulley system. Subject stated that he was not climbing. The rope was pulling him up. Panic sets in on both sides and subject informed to ready firearm. Upon reaching the top of the hole, nothing was visible on camera and subject reported that nothing has changed in the landscape. Then, subject began a return trip following the path of the cable. The subject slowly panned the camera in full circle. On film, behind subject, oh. a crowd of 37 countable strange figures stood there silently. Features were unidentifiable, and they lacked the blue hue that dominates the landscape. Panic broke in control again, but subject only noticed that the cable had an angled path. Control requested subject to speed up and return following the cable path. Just seconds later, screams were caught on the audio with panic from subject. Five shots fired as subject aimed pistol at something massive. Control saw a massive human being crawling on the ground, easily 50 times the size of a normal person with no facial features and a noticeably short oh, arm reach, shoot. pulling itself toward the subject. 
Proximity fine details could not be made out, but at least one observer noted that the being appeared to have been shot from the marks in the otherwise smooth, featureless face. The communication was cut off, and the pulley system continued to pull I in. Those beans Once are the rope right was fully retracted other, by control station, there was no trace of the subject. The only thing recovered was the field kit bag, oh, containing shoot. the newspaper article and SCP-093. I hope you enjoyed today's He's video. Gone, Which SCP do you want to see in the next video? And why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget That's to click crazy. like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank oh, they you call so it, much they for call watching, it and we will see object. you in the next video. Bye-bye. They also did a part two of the Red Sea object as well, the same thing. That's insane. I do believe, I think that those beings that were like right next to each other probably f fused like all together and became as one became, and just made that giant thing. That, that's probably my possibility, but I'll let you have to go back soon to check out the part two to see what the heck is this whole Red Sea is about this creature. I guess they called it the Red Sea creature or something like that. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. It's been Boy Drex. Take care and peace. Well, I think you're pretty great.